Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. We are going to tap into your energy and see what's popping. I know, I know, I didn't post that three, but guess what? I'm here now. All right, so you can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node, okay? Keep in mind, energy is fluid, reverse the roles as need be. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading, please click the description box below to book your personal reading. And if uh, you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Your likes very much help the video, so if you watch the video, please just like the video. Thank you. All right, Spirit, please provide me a message for the collective of Aquarius. Ooh, okay. You got heart chakra, trapped in fear, conflict and defeat. Okay. I mean, these cards flying, Aqua. Okay, so heart chakra, trapped in fear, conflict and, and defeat here, okay? So I feel like... Someone, someone is is heartbroken. Their, their their heart is not in line. You may be turning cold to love, or you just really want love. But someone is trapped, right? I feel like you're trapped. Like maybe you fear that you won't find love, or maybe that you fear like, okay, are, am I making the right decision here? Okay, you you have a lot of conflict, and you may feel defeated because something isn't going your way. All right, with uh, the lovers here. So this is someone that you know they had a choice. They had a choice to make, right? And you may feel as though you're not someone's choice, okay? Or you may feel as though someone is not making the right choice. You also have throat chakra here, okay? So there's some type of conversation that happened. This definitely is a spiritual union here. Let me see. There you go. This is a spiritual union between you and this particular person. So it's going to bother you on levels that something else would not necessarily bother you because it's a spiritual union. This is why you're so much in your head, okay? I feel like once you speak up and speak your mind about this, okay, um, you're going to have victory and success here. You're, this person is going to recognize uh the error in their ways or this person may speak up to you okay whoever this is passion reignited something could very well be uh restarted okay so whatever this is you may feel like your con your, your conflict and defeat and you had a choice and some of you guys could be moving on and that's what's going to plan out all right partnerships and alliances here okay so i feel as though um you got people around you that's that's helping you or guiding you through a particular situation or you're linking up with someone, all right? And when you're linking up with this particular person, it's positive movement for it, okay? I feel like um, something is coming in that's releasing any type of blockages and stronghold that may be on your finances here. You have the Empress energy here. So definitely, like, you're aligning, right? Like, no matter what you went through in love, you didn't allow it to stop you from loving. You didn't allow it to get you down. You have crown chakra here. So heart, crown, and throat. Whoo, cha. Come on now. Clear your heart chakra. Do not add any any blockages. If you went through something and you was defeated because someone did not see your value, Aquarius, you cannot be mad at you and you cannot charge the next person for what somebody else did. You, it, you seen the flags, right? And don't overthink the process because someone did not see your value and your worth. That don't mean that you don't see your own value and your worth. So make sure that you continue to speak the right words and stand up for yourself, right? But with the crown chakra here, also make sure that you are balanced, right? Make sure that you clear your head. Don't overthink think the process right some people can't see you because they're not on your level now how long do you want to stay in a situation where somebody is not on your level okay and then by the time they grow you done already surpassed them because you're continuously growing so you can't make somebody sit in the energy to see you for who you are no that's that's not that's not that's not it that's not it mm -mm. let it go <laughs> triumphant success here again right so you have victory and success and triumphant success right clear your head clear this energy out right take it as any other habit that you're trying to break whenever you think about it think about something else right move on right do what you need to do for you okay continue to have patience so you know if you're leaving one situation and you're getting into something new or if you've left something that they were on your mind very heavy and in your energy and you're now getting into something new be mindful that this person this new person is not going 
going to equate to what that old person was overnight, okay, in your life. But this person will be better than what you had, so you have to have patience and allow it to unfold for you. You have to wait for it to happen, right? Continue being the best version of you while they catch up to, to, to your awesomeness, right? But whoever this, this, this new energy is, either this a new energy or somebody coming back in and getting it right, but whoever this is, it's like it's right. It's right, okay? No one can tell you what to do for you, okay? No one can tell you how to maneuver your life. They can tell you how they want you to maneuver your life, but it's your life. You are in control of your own destiny. So be mindful of that, all right? Boom, you got solar plexus chakra in the building okay what you do okay so be mindful of your be mindful of of the energy that you're putting out okay what you're doing and how you're doing it okay um some of you guys again could benefit from getting a reiki healing some of you guys could be dealing with the capricorn um they got uh that message um to get a reiki healing massage as well okay destiny here okay the wheel of fortune all right so being mindful you're taking action you're doing what makes you happy you're speaking your truth you're clearing your head okay you're still allowing love to come in the wheel of fortune is running in your favor some of you guys could be linked to a leo okay but you do have light here okay i do see you having a lot of happiness all right moving forward a lot of happiness uh, pro uh financial prosperity it's like something here could have blocked you awareness okay everything that you've been manifesting aquarius is coming in because whatever you were holding on to that didn't see your value you ended up seeing your own value and you move forward i okay the truth all right you got the truth coming out answering that inner calling judgment time to move on time to do what i need to do somebody could also just have the judgment and the truth about you like man aquarius was my person but they may have thought that you were not going to leave them yes truth and hope hope is the star card wish fulfillment aquarius energy you are wish fulfillment to someone and somebody's catching that after you've moved on right don't mean that you're supposed to stop your show because they just not catching it or are they really catching it are they catching it or are they really just in this energy because you've moved on from them and you're no longer giving them your energy see telepathy is 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 bigger than physical connection right because you can keep a person in your energy and they can keep you in their energy just by thought and if they're thinking about you and you're thinking about them but they just can't go forward then you guys are going to remain in each other energy when you move that person out of that energy that that whole thing breaks right and so to be absolutely honest with you people talk about soul ties and doing this work and doing that work when you want to break a soul tie baby you sit down and you concentrate and you pray to the ultimate god to break this soul tie to release this energy Anytime a thought comes up about them, you change that thought. You do what needs to be done. You don't think about the positive things about that person, right? Because then that's how it's supposed to go. You think about the reasons why you walked away. You think about the fact that this person did not know your value, that this person did not deserve the person that you were to them. You don't change up your awesomeness because somebody didn't value you. You continue to be awesome until that awesome match come reach you. So <clears throat> you do have triumph here okay so somebody is wanting success someone is determined to get you back now someone is determined to come back in your energy but whoever this person is here it's like someone is determined to make sure that you are happy all right someone is determined to make sure that things go go right okay so rather this is this old person coming back they're coming back and they're doing something completely different when it comes to you and it took for you to withdraw your energy for them to just be like okay they, they go aquarius gone for real you know, oh, you know I'm an empress. You already know what time it is. You know what, what's happening. But what you have manifested is now coming too. And I just feel like for uh, most of you guys, this is somebody completely new coming in. All right? So, again, I tell you guys about the 90-day rule. Some of you, some some people need to take time out and, 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 and stop and, and rethink. Sometimes we are in relationships or we connected to people, and we're not really attached to those situations. we just trying to see where they're going, right? And then you get out of that situation, you may feel like, okay, I'm ready to go forward because I had already left emotionally before I left physically. Nobody can tell you how much you need to go. Nobody can tell you what you need to do with your life. If you don't want to wait, damn it, don't wait. If you want to wait, then wait right but whatever you've manifested is coming to pass whatever blockages that were on your life is being removed right keep in mind you are the alignment to spirit you are the connection to your spirit the only thing that a person outside of you can do is interfere rather good or bad that's the only thing that they can do is interfere so never lose your connection to spirit altogether all right so i do see success here i do see accelerated motion somebody's moving fast okay boom you already the empress baby you got an emperor coming in here honey new love begins you got the ace of cups here honey <laughs> you got the ace of cups here honey things are moving 
So I feel like you're moving away from something that you just had a strong hold on, but you had this strong hold because of the passion, because it could be karmic, or because, you know, you never got to play this out how it's supposed to be. But somebody sees your value and your worth, and they not letting up. They pressing the gas, okay? Now this other person, they see your value and your worth, but are you going to give up what you have because they just now seeing your value and your worth? So you still got a lot more growing to do. But somebody here, baby, emperor, honey, coming in to do what they got to do. The, 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 the universe is here. Cycles are ending, honey. Cycles are ending. New stuff is coming in. Baby, the vibe is right, honey. Material harvest, baby, okay? This person could have a lot of moolah, okay? Or this is you stepping into a lot of moolah. You're stepping into your happy moment. You're stepping into your happy tribe. You're stepping into what it is that you need to do, okay? Movement, choices, and decisions, okay? Your movement, your choices, and your decisions got you to where you wanted to be right now. You got the base chakra here okay continue to be aligned all right some of you guys could be going through a kundalini awakening right now like oh i see this different i feel different about this i feel different about that that's perfectly fine transformation right yeah you're going through this transformation endings for new beginnings that love that you wanted from that other person boom transformation in the universe come on now that love that you wanted from somebody else you couldn't get it from them because that wasn't the person to give it to you now they could have checked most of your boxes but the boxes that was left unchecked meant a whole lot to you they ain't mean a lot to them okay so everything that you've manifested everything that you wanted is coming to you but it took you to walk away from something that was holding you back something for something Someone that was just basically there to be there, right? You're not growing. You're not building. You're not expanding. You're not doing nothing. It's just love. I love you. You love me. We wake up every day. We love each other. That's not, that's not the calling that you got on your life. That's not the calling that you got on your life. The calling that you got on your life here is to be the best version of yourself. You're an Aquarius. That means you're a foreseer. You're the most intelligent sign of the zodiac. You're a humanitarian beautiful spirit the i know sign so you already know where you need to be at in life because you already light years ahead so if they just not catching up to you in today's time and you already light years ahead you're gonna continue to drag whoever this is the whole way through a lot of times we got to stop looking for love from others and look at love for ourselves. And when we love ourselves enough, we're going to attract the love that we want and need. And so this is all this is about. You're loving yourself and you're realizing what you want, need, and deserve. And you're finally getting what you want, need, and deserve. However long it took you to get it, you got it. Cutting the sucker off, moving forward, getting it. You got it. See, we did a reading before, ain't nothing to cut, ain't nothing to cut that mm, off, right? And you cut them off, but you really didn't cut them off because they were stealing your energy. And spirit is saying, this right here is waiting for you, Empress. This right here is waiting for you, Emperor. You're getting the energy that you deserve, that you want, that you need, because you did the work that was needed to be done. You finally realized this, and how many times I got to give you a chance to realize that your chance and my chance don't equate to the same thing. We all have a, a divine purpose here on life. And my purpose is different than your purpose is different than your purpose. But it doesn't matter. Mine is just, I'm, you know, mine is to bring people close to the spirit, right? And you can have somebody else and they can have that same, that same title, but their description is completely different. So how can you allow anybody like to, to direct you into something that you know that ain't aligning for you? In love, in money, in, in friendship, in family, whatever. You are the dictator of your own destiny, of your own life. And sometimes when we get too far off track, spirit will come back in and intervene and put a brick wall up. Well, I control my own life so I can do whatever I want to do. I, I change this, but you keep running into this brick wall. Boom, boom. Boom. Why I can't go fast? Why I can't go past this? Why I can't go nowhere? Because spirit done put this brick wall up. Spirit done put this brick wall up. Listen, baby, you got to go right. I know that you control your own destiny, but don't keep in mind, you got spirit guys with you, baby. You got your air going goon around you. You got, you, you got a lot of people around you. A lot of people that's responsible for your energy that you can really call on. And when you call on, they going to be there. When you do the divination, when you do the ebo, when you go to church, get on that, get get on your knees on the pew, pew, pray. When you go to mosque, whatever it is that you believe in, when you go do what you do, they gonna be there. 
And if they are not there, when I'm a firm believer for what my life has shown me, if I'm not getting the result that I'm asking for, then something in my life has to change. So when you're wondering why you're not getting the manifestations and the money that you are requiring what you want, it's because something in your life has to change. Even though you are the dictator of your destiny, there's a block for a reason, and that's their duty to add the block so you can redirect your energy to where you need to be. Somebody got tired of hitting the brick wall, obviously. Somebody's realizing that something is not for them. And no matter how much you love somebody, don't mean you got to stop loving them. I can love you from afar. I can love you from over here, but don't mean I got to deal with you. I love you because of what we had. I love you because of, 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 of the children. I love you because of, 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 of whatever the reason may be. But loving someone and being stagnant Nowhere near equates to loving someone and them loving you back and you going forward on your destiny. So you have to choose what this is that you want to do in this particular connection. Do you want to remain stagnant? Is this love enough? Obviously it ain't. Because loving somebody got you manifested and manifested. When I manifested this money, this money ain't came yet. <laughs> I, I done manifested this new job and boy, ain't nobody calling me back. I done manifested this and, 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 and I ain't even got it. I done manifested love and I got somebody that I love and I know they love me, but you ain't going nowhere. They ain't building nowhere. This person just a placeholder to sit here and talk to you while you down and out. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh-huh. You need movers and shakers. Oh, baby, that ain't working for you. Don't worry about it. Here, let, let, let's, let's do this. They ain't giving you no solutions, no none of that. Oh, we can sit down and talk for hours. Okay, so you didn't talk to this person for hours, but what have y'all built together? What, have, what, what came out of that? What have you done that they have, um, what have you done that they contributed to? Did they give you an idea? Did they, 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 they plant capital? Did, what, 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 what? what? Just saying. So now you're getting everything that you want to need because somebody done broke the barrier. Somebody done broke the barrier. Congratulations. You moving in, you moving in ways in life that you never even, you never even seen. You, you imagined it because you manifested it. You imagined moving this way, but you were never able to move the way that you are about to move. And it's all because your reward, they reward you. They be happy. They'd be like, man, yeah, by time, by time, Aquarius, <laughs> you got it, you got it, Aquarius, okay. I told y'all, I, I I dumbed down on my channel so much, man, because they, they, they gonna hate, they gonna hide, they gonna do whatever they wanna do, man, but I said, you know what, I'm not gonna dumb down on my channels, man, I'm gonna speak my mind, I'm gonna get y'all this word, I'm gonna get y'all this message, we're not doing that no more. Nope. Message for Aquarius. I'm just saying, spirit message for Aquarius. <laughs> there we go. Number three. Boom. Relationships, success, love, and envy. I, uh, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Come on, man. That was our whole conversation today. These spiritual conversations that we be having. That was the whole conversation. What serves your higher good? What is assisting you to move forward on your destiny? Because anybody that's in your life should be assisting you and moving forward towards your destiny. And anybody whose life you are in, you should be assisting them to move forward to their destiny. It cannot be one-sided. Equal reciprocity is a must. Success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love. Telling you, you're having a successful relationship. You didn't give up. You didn't take the fact that, man, this person right here didn't see my value. This person didn't see my worth. This person wasn't properly alive. You ain't care about none of that. 
That don't make you not attractive. That don't make you not worth it. You deserve love. If you choose not to love, then that's totally on you. You 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 you. When you decide to love again, that's when you get all of this. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You still loving. You still growing. You still doing what you got to do. Relationship, success, love, and envy. I am the same as everybody else with different challenges. There are people that envy you for who you are and the gifts that you have. And you just like them. Some people, you know, they may be feel like they may feel like they the hot stuff. You know what I mean? You you bother, you you envying little old me over here doing my thing, like, bruh, do you discipline yourself. Stop telling people your business. I accomplish what I set my mind to. Discipline yourself. That's one thing you got to do because there's people right up under you that's envying how you moving. And then they'll say, I don't envy you. I ain't got nothing to envy you about. And, and I ain't this and I ain't that. But with your actions saying something completely different, okay? Show more gratitude, right? And I, you have happiness here. So gratitude and happiness is here. Um, I feel like things are changing dramatically in your life. And it just took for you to step a foot forward to move forward and do what it is that you got to do. Aquarius, I'm proud of you guys. Um... Keep up the good work to whomever this resonated with. Uh, congratulations, man. It wasn't easy. I know it wasn't because that took a lot of energy out of me. I say.